winner bracket semi-final number one from the upper part of the bracket here it is and here is what happened before when we were casting w league focus has defeated guess but lost the map that was interesting wait uh didn't think so but good accomplishment for the french night elf player here so that's why focus is in the winner bracket final lucifer defeated neutron 2-0 we haven't seen the games but quite impressive by lucifer who is for my taste, in the best part, uh, in the best shape of his, like, in, in six or five years or so. It's pretty crazy how he stepped up his game since the patch. Here are your two players, both qualified for WGL, which will start in exactly 11 days. Life in Shanghai, 24 best players of the world competing there for $16,500 in the World Championship. But we go into map number one on Terrana Stand, as I said. The resources are right, so I just have to adjust the colors. Lucifer in red as an undead. And Focus, of course, representing the Orcish Horde in orange this time. All right. With that, we're good to go. And we have Lucifer in the upper left of Terrana's stand. Starting with the DK Tetfiend's build order with two ghouls thus far. And on the other side, focus with a Blade Master. No Farseer play here. We are very early into the game. The camera is a little more zoomed in because we are on Battle.net now and not on uh, Nettys anymore. For the fans out there, Lucifer is the favorite, a little bit at least, with 10 votes. 56% of the votes go to him. Uh, might be due to his popularity. He's streaming. Focus does not. A little more approachable, Lucifer seems. And of course, he's a legend from back in the day. ESWC winner, they both were at the same clan. And one of the most legendary clans that we had. Meet your makers alongside uh, Moon, Suceria. That was such a great team, man. Grubby later, of course. Or was it EG only? Or was he at Mim? I don't know. DK starts this creeping, prevents uh, this to be taken from the Blade Master, who took out his little green spot first. With a ghoul here, nice idea by Lucifer, getting the claws of attack, and of course it's nice to have them later for the Lich, but it's also very nice to not give him to the Blade Master. And the first experience. Windwalk will be used, but it's a little too late. So the DK gets two of the spots here, gifts a little experience thanks to the skeletons, I guess, but makes a good job in running away. And preventing those 25 experience to go towards the orc who is tacking on one burrow with a shop and a barrack. So a normal tech for focus in this regard. Lucifer follows this up quite quickly. Saves his acolyte. Gets the second ziggurat and starting fiend production soon. As we have four ghouls as it is basically standard in this matchup by now. To have a little more lumber and one or two ghouls in the fights if you need them. Mental of Intelligence and Cloak of Shadow, uh, Cloak of Shadows for the Blade Master, level one and a half. DK finds some grunts, or the grunts find the DK rather, but he has the circlet for him, so he sniped that one and getting close to level two himself. Tech comparison, oh, focus is a good a bunch ahead, are under but that's the nature of this matchup. Usually, would be quite surprised to see an equal tech. Ooh, and this could be dangerous for Lucifer, investing quite a bit, including a coil. Oh, Lu uh, Focus is going for the DK right away, not waiting for the Rogue. And this was go uh, an item at experience, going for the DK, but he's blocked thanks to the Apprentice Wizard. He has to evacuate now as soon as possible. Unholy Aura is not there. Backstab coming in, a few more hits. Speed scroll used by Focus, should be a Town Portal. Oh, the level up! Nicely done by Lucifer to not follow the Orc units, but finish this creep spot, getting the necessary experience for level two. And ah, this one goes to the Orc, but he got the Unholy Aura, saved the Town Portal, and the Blade Master couldn't follow with this upgrade. Even a deny, that was nicely done. And two claws already, and a circlet on this Death Knight, which will of course be handed to the Lich, which is coming at tier 2 with Frost Armor first. Three Fiends will be up soon as well, as Focus needs levels. Level 1.7 only. But with level 2, that will help. Beastery, Shadowhunter, tier 3. A player's force the normal route this matchup goes. 
So it's going to be most likely a lot of PvE right now uh, with creeping. As the Blade Master is finding a health stone. Never wrong to have health regeneration during the roaming stage of the game. DK finds another Ring of Protection here. That's okay. And yeah, the WFZ build with four ghouls, fast sacrificial pit for scouting to identify the Blade Master, even though he's in Windwalk, because the shade reveals invisible units. Lich is coming. And then the DK should be safe. He's staying close to his home. Creeping with skeletons in his two fiends he has. Where's the third one? Did he cancel the third one? Looks like it. The Blade Master trying to snipe the Renegade. And it looks quite nice here for him. The Health Stone, of course, provides the region that he needs. Even though his DPS are not that great. Critical Strike helps out, of course, as well. Wind of Mana stealing. And simultaneous creeping by the Shadow Hunter, who got himself a potion of greater mana and a very hurt grunt. But also level 2 for him. As End Snare is coming for the Raiders. Fiends, statues, the normal way for Lucifer as well. Tier 3 tech comparison, basically the same. So a lot of hurt grunts. He has to use three selves. Level 2 Shadow Hunter though. And the rest of the creep camp here goes to the undead. But the item is gone. Two consumables for focus in this regard. Which can help him a lot. The Wind of Mana stealing very situational, but good. 50 mana will be swapped between two heroes, so you can cancel a coil with it or whatever. But we have Frost Armor now, makes dealing with the Blade Master a lot easier. And the first statue is there to heal up the DK anyway, but natural expansion creep for focus. Level 3 with that is are under getting closer. But won't be enough, even though he's solo creeping. Solo creeping not a thing for undeads, as they rely too much on their hero focus power. We have a panel of energy though, that is fantastic. A plus 12 lich with level 2, so Nova unlocked. We have tier 3 ready for the Orb of Corruption, Burrow Research, and we're waiting for the Dreadlord to come into play here. On the other side, Warmill a little Player late, TC 3rd, and lich level 2 as I said. Orb already there. Very equal game so far. This is going to be level 3 for the Shadow Hunter and then focuses in fighting shape. We'll most likely wait for his Kodo Beast, maybe even the upgrade for his Orb of Lightning. But good levels now. Ark of Reincarnation for him. We've seen TBC selling this item today and that didn't work well. More creeping for Lucifer as well, who has... Oh, nicely done by the Blade Master, stealing the big one. Item went to the DK, though, Sobi Mask. The Lich is in trouble here. There's plenty of mana, though. There should be a bunch of coils, one of mana stealing being used, but that doesn't affect him at all. Going for the Fiends, nice burrow, no reveal. Shade is there, Illusions being used. Blade Master is under quite some pressure, thanks to the Orb of uh, Corruption and the two claws that he has. But he takes out another statue, which is, I think, more important than a Raider, so a decent trade for focus. But he can't kill the Fiends, as it seems. They're both on the ground, both healing up quite a bit. And another coil, another grunt kill. Statue has to kite though. No end snare anymore. Shadow Hunter has a bunch of hex left, and the Berserker for focus might be killed soon. We do have a Nova coming in. We have three coils remaining, but the heal wave as well. So this Berserker is safe. Same goes for the two fiends who are joining this battle again. Hex though. There must be a coil. Whoa, last second. And now Town Port loud. Good fight by Focus. Going in for the storm. Damage seems good, but it's not enough. Headhunters with upgrade, basic 1.29 meta in this matchup for focus, Warsong battle drums, and there should be a first Kodo then, right? Yeah, there we go. 45 supply for Lucifer, still no third hero. Here's the Dreadlord now. And pulling ghouls as well. Are under attack. He wants the level 3 Lich more than anything. Same goes for the level 2 TC, who has stun, but no endurance aura yet, which uh, benefits the Troll Berserkers and base at the Blade Master so much. And there can, there's a lot of creeping to be done on the northern 
northeastern side of the map. The laboratory, the dark wizard, the expansion. So that's certainly better than what Lucifer can do in the southwestern part. I mean, it's still one good item with his dark wizard, but all right. Expansion coming up for focus, expansion coming up for Lucifer. No desire to push into the natural position of the orc. Dreadlord with sleep is there to cancel the blade master or maybe disable the shadow hunter when he sees that the orc army needs a heal wave then sleep the shadow hunter and prevent that necessary healing potion of invulnerability is so nice beast mode can be enabled with that dreadlord gets a wind of mana stealing himself which is very nice against the tc could get rid of at least one storm Invo potion on that guy as well and he goes for the natural and cancels it forces focus back and saves more time for his own expansion Creeps the Sasquatch here, but the TC is coming in for the Storm. And then it's gonna be a lot of damage if he can connect. The position is okay. Getting two heroes and the Fiend and a bunch of uh, melee units. Here's the first sleep of the game. And snare immediately on the Destroyer. But the Blade Master can't really reach. Going for the Fiends first. He has no connection to the Headhunters. So Focus is dashing out a lot of damage. Kills the Fiend during the Town Portal. Lich survives though. But this is the tiny Great Hall. Big, ex uh, big investment by Focus. But a normal Great Hall is not coming up anymore. He has no time for that. So he has to invest the 700 gold. Level 4 for the Shadow Hunter. Level 2, almost 3 for the TC, who's really, really tanky now. And Expo is up for both players. Level 3 Lich, level 3 and a bit DK, level almost 2 Dreadlord. And we see Banshees. Curse is coming in. Big mischance chance on all affected units, 33%, especially like first target is the Blade Master, but also in the back line for the Troll Berserkers. This is a phenomenal spell. Cheap to use, cheap to get, and no dispel on the Orc side. We don't see a Torrent Totem, we don't see a Spirit Lodge for Shaman. So he has to play with what he has now. Tom of Agility plus two, even more damage on the Blade Master with Slippers and an Orb, also in Talisman of Evasion. And the TC level 3 is his big target. Now, the creep is all. Uh, the, uh, the item is already gone, but the creeps are still there. Damage is plus 17. TC with a tome of experience could have given it to the Shadow Hunter, maybe, or claim the level 4. But alright, Lucifer is sitting on his expansion like a hen on an egg. Not the biggest army. 51 supply against 62. But home field advantage for the undead. Going for the Shadow Hunter hard with the Coil Nova. Forces the first heal wave. Banshees have been taken out. There is curse on the Blade Master, but what does it do? Melee heroes in the back line. Level 2 for the Dreadlord. Unholy Aura, I think. Uh, not Unholy, Vampire Aura. Nuking the Kotal Beast now, but does he have enough damage in the absence of fiends? The f uh, statue falls in the back line as well. Finally, some sleep on the TC, but the next stomp is coming. He has it in the bid. Wind of Mana Stealing could be used, but not done yet. Nich, oh, triple stun on the heroes. There's no coil at the moment. Clutch coil to save that Lich for one sleep again. But he needs another coil. Six second cooldown should be off by now. Blade Master is back, woken up. But the Lich gets that coil. But the DK is now in focus. There's no invul. There's no TP for him. Everything is all over the place. Shadow Hunter in a bit of trouble. Lich catching the third coil with all that focus on the heroes. There's no way to coil aggressively. And he needs another one. Another coil is ready. But that was the last one. If he continues that focus with the Woken Blade Master, this game could be over soon. He Trying to burrow, but that was a little bit out, out of position. Dreadlord sleeps and sleeps and sleeps and sleeps, but that was the last one. Coil is not coming in in time as the Blade Master is going for the backstab, and that was enough damage for the Lich. No other corruption anymore. Level 4 on the DK, but that doesn't help him. GG by Lucifer. Focus takes map number one in a convincing fashion. I had lost faith and focus a little bit. Oops, my game crashed. So I have to hurry to get back in this game. Um, I had lost faith and focus for a little bit because his results versus Night Elf were so, so bad. And he was so, so desperate. But in other matchups, feels like he plays really good. Oh, no, 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 no. He feels really good. Uh, yesterday, he played an amazing 
series against TH. He lost that series, but he was so close to winning it. Long, worn out fights. Really hard to do against TH. But yeah, he made him fight for that. I hope the game is still up. No? No? No, they didn't start without me. Did they? Ah, there we go. Okay, we're in the game. 1-0 for focus, one step away from the winner bracket. Final is the Korean. Uh, how do you keep track of upcoming concerts, Neo? Uh, there's an app called Bands in Town, and it's really good. I think it works all over the world. So Bands in Town is really good. But we go into map number two. Here are your players once again. And we go in game. Focus with the lead, Lucifer with the map choice. He must equalize, otherwise he finds himself in the lower bracket. Round two. Resources are swapped. So, focus remains in orange. Lucifer goes for blue now. And here we go. Lucifer in the upper right, focus in the bottom left. This should be a Blade Master again. Could be a Shadow Hunter, but against Undead, not really, right? Oh, Farseer! Cool! Cool to see some deviation. Amazonia is a map where we can't really pimp the Blade Master. Not too many claws and not too many damage boosting items. So, why not go for a Farseer here? I think it's a good idea. If you can pull off the harass. Uh, we've seen it today by Shao KK that it can work. If you deal enough damage. And level nicely. You have an earlier stun with a TC second. But you need a good early game for that to work. Otherwise the uh, fiends will just shut down your wolves. And then the fast year doesn't really have any upsides anymore. 2,100 viewers, nice to see that. A player's forces are under attack. So many players won WCA to 2016. Yeah, that's because uh, A, there were a lot of qualifiers, and B, there was China versus Korea. That's also labeled WCA 2016, China versus Korea. And since the Koreans won, and we see them a lot, every one of them is labeled as a winner of China versus Korea. So Lucifer starts creeping, not at the laboratory, but for the Berserker. Wolves are already out, he scouted that. And might get the kill, but I don't Player think so. Regen. Top right says W League still? How's that possible? What? I changed that. Plus rank up 8. Thank you. So the Acolyte survived. And the DK is going in for an Raz. Didn't... Oh, he... No, wait. He did steal something, I guess. Oh, no, not really. 
But he will steal something now if he invests another coil, which he does. And that prevents the Farseer from level 2 and Chain Lightning. The player's forces are under attack. Tech on the Focus side, tech on the Lucifer side, double Ziggurat to free up some supply for the Fiends. Pretty fast tech by Lucifer, like it's almost the same time as Focus, oh, a little behind, but not as much as last game. So he's waiting for his Fiends now, as his second Ziggurat is really late, but he has ghouls, he has enough lumber, oh does he? Are under Could need some lumber, so he has to fasten up the creeping. But good creep route for harass. He stole one creep. That was important. Now he has his uh, laboratory for easy creeping as well. Level 2, once again a clause of attack. Farcia though, finally has his level 2 as well. Creeping the same one that Lucifer did before. And is waiting for his own tier 2 for the TC to come out. Player's forces are under attack. Fasia makes some progress now as Lucifer gives him the space on the map. Doesn't want to fight the ghouls, uh, the ghouls, the wolves at the moment with only one fiend. Might be able to steal something, the Taskmaster, if he's hiding a little bit. But okay, it's level two coil, so a 200 HP threshold should. Be able to prevent that though, focus. With enough pressure the are under on the DK, which he's doing. Nice split from the ghouls against the DK. But he has to be careful. One more hit and then the coil, and he gets the big taskmaster, but the item goes to the ore cloth of attack as well. Wasn't surrounded here, just losing a little bit more HP on the fiend. That was absolutely Justified. I think he prevented level 3 on the fast. Yes, yeah, he was level 2 already. He would have gotten bonus experience. So that would have been his level 3. Slaughterhouse tier 3. And that's exactly what I mean by fiends shut down wolves. Especially if they're only level 1. They are, uh, they are so squishy, these wolves. But now they are level 2. With another kobold gone. Another clause. By now, I think he would have loved to have a Blade Master, but it's still fine. Lich is out, and again, I think he should go Nova first. I mean, there's still a lot of melee, and he can still slow down a lot, but having the Coil Nova against this 770 HP pass here could be nice. Also, the TC, quite squishy. Not going for the creep jack, doesn't identify the situation, but more creeping. Rune Brace is nice against uh, Chain Lightning and Stun. Solo experience for the Torrent Chieftain, Potion of Invulnerability, and some more mana with the Tome of Intelligence. Raider, still more grunts, and an expansion on tier 2. Okie dokie. With Ensnare coming, you have to be so much more careful as an undead. And retreat, and that's exactly what Lucifer is doing. Wait for the statues, wait for tier 3. He did sell the bracers. Okay. Are under yeah, and that's exactly what I mean. One end snare is one kill. And that's 215 gold units. You can't just throw them away like footmen. But there should be some time for focus to carry this expansion into completion. Statue is there though. Fight in an undead base. If Focus is able to snipe this Tome of Relics, this looks so good for him because then no statues. What a storm! And there's no way he can repair against this. No way. He can't start another Ziggurat anymore. Ooh, little lag here. Town Portal and Invo Potion on the TC. Goes for the Invo Potion. And he wants more kills. Nova against this raider, so only one end snare anymore. Chain lightning as well. Man, focus is stomping Lucifer in the ground right now.
Lucifer down to 31. And expansion is two-thirds done. And he's doing it again. If he snipes the shop all the time now... That game is GG. No destroyer upgrade. No additional stat. He was forcing the town portal to bleed him dry. Like, this is 350 gold that Lucifer really doesn't want to spend right now. Because he needs to make units. He needs to have the firepower to kill this Great Hall. A player's forces are Peons attacked. are coming over. Pillage upgrade for focus. 500 gold gathered already and in the bank. So, does he have a speed scroll? Nope. <clears throat> so the next ambush should be a town portal out by focus if Lucifer reacts well. Tomb of Relics far in the back. He's sending in the wolves for the acolytes. And what can he get? Altar, Ziggurat. Is he sniping the haunted gold mine? Alright. All of a sudden there's some surface. And focus on the Farseer now, who has no TP. And the TC is far away, trying to make his way over now. Nice storm. TP out. Is there another Nova? And a coil? Yes! The Farseer explodes, but is it calculated enough? No! Lost the first hero and the town portal and didn't get the haunted gold mine. That wasn't the best attack by focus. Farseer is level 3, so that will take some time. And here comes the big push by Lucifer. He needs to kill stuff. There's no reinforced defenses. That's good. He has Black Arrow first to kill the peons to get more skeletons. Focus will not be supply stuck after this. But does he have the time to kill this Great Hall? We'll see. What goes on in the base? No, TP out immediately. Two ghouls? Ah, oh, nice. Lucifer sent the ghouls to lumber. So if you use a town portal, this uh, game detects the ghouls as workers and they don't portal that with them. So they can continue to harass the base and the workers. Really well played. I mean, they're missing in the fight now and it's more important to harass the expansion. As it forces focus back, that's exactly what happens now. Level 2 on the Dark Ranger, so silence is a thing. If you can get the Kodo, that would be huge. Ghouls die for their efforts, though. Medal of Honor for both of them. So many peons. No big damage against the Great Hall. And nice snipes. I, I think you can feel that Lucifer is under pressure. He's trying to create battle scenes everywhere, but Focus just stays calm, splits his army. Oh, there's, there's a TP. He snipes the haunted gold mine. Mass repair. Raiders getting killed thanks to the Orb of Corruption. Is the damage still enough? He's sniping another raider. One more right click and the haunted gold mine is down. That was a big attack by focus. He's losing 10 supply, but what does it matter? Expansion up. Headhunter coming even. Lucifer without income. Can he rebuild the haunted gold mine? Yeah, but that will take forever. TC level 3 with this as well. Good storms against the Acolytes. He's trying to battle this expansion again. But it's not enough skeletons, I feel. You need the skeletons for the damage. He's getting... Oh, okay, now he has like 6. That could help, but guess what? Focus is right in his face again. This can't finish. Ouchie! Chain Lightning kills more and more Acolytes. Lucifer has to react, has to walk back. Skeletons won't do the damage to kill this one. 
Level 4 on the Farseer. Is Hero Focus the thing? Oh, he's just killing building after building. Oh, if the Ziggurat falls, he's supply stack? No. But Lucifer doesn't have the gold for the Haunted Gold Mine. GG! Focus in the winner bracket final in the Battle of the Koreans. Lucifer doesn't stand a chance. Very well played by Focus. Uh, very well executed, always kept his calm, always find these little niches where he can attack through, and he did a lot of damage. I say this so many times in my casts, Achilles heal for undeads is the shop, if you kill it, no statues, basically GG. We go from the upper part of the bracket to the lower part of the bracket, Focus is in the winner's finals, Lucifer down to the lowest finals, so who will join them? Foggy vs. Chimiko is next, Sonic vs. Lawlight as well. The Ukrainian Night Elves, the strongest that Europe has to offer, steps in the ring vs. Chimiko and Lawlight to Koreans here. We will be back in a bit with Foggy vs. Chimiko. Stay tuned.